Welcome back to BrainFlow TV slash Hot Topics TV. If you've never been here before, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get right into the story. No delay. Hey man, this one, we call this fucking up the bag. Yeah, pardon my language, I didn't mean to curse straight out the gate, but sometimes we need to use certain words for emphasis. I mean, this is really fucking up the bag. Let's get into this story right here because NFL's Cameron Sutton was just recently released from jail. Matter of fact, it was posted on TMZ April 1st, 2024, that he was recently released from jail. Jail records show that Cameron Sutton was released from custody on Monday afternoon, roughly 24 hours after he had turned himself in to the police. He was wanted. And he was ducking the popo for quite some time. You know, you got to ask yourself, all of us out here, look at people that actually make it. You know, when we're small, growing up, we have these dreams, goals, and visions. Some people have dreams to make it all the way to professional sports. It's no easy feat to make it to the NFL or the NBA. You must be the best of the best of the best. If it was easy to do, then everybody would be doing it. And not only that, like I even say to my own children who are trying to make it, I say, listen, do you see any NFL players around you where we live, walking through your city, riding in traffic next to you? They say, no, dad. I said, do you know why? Because they live in a separate world. They live in a bubble. It's so few of them that they live in a bubble. They ride luxury cars. They fly private jets. They live in mansions. They're not normal people. They have trained their bodies and their minds to be the sharpest and the best at whatever sports it is they play. And that's what people pay them millions and millions of dollars for. So don't think that it's going to be easy to get there. Now, what I can't understand is how somebody put in all that work all that dedication and then you get to all that money and then you fuck that money up and you're right back to square one or worse than when you started this is a story about something like that so after completing an investigation into this matter the office the office of the state attorney has elected to file a single misdemeanor Sutton's attorney said in a statement following the NFL player's release, he was supposed to be booked on felony charges. I don't know what kind of deal they made out with behind the scenes, but it was too late. It had cost them everything already, and we'll get into the details of that. He walked away with a misdemeanor, according to his attorney. Both Mr. Sutton and the mother of his children have now requested privacy in this matter as they view this as a family matter and they wish to resolve it as a family matter. Here's the thing. The same woman that calls the police on you and fucks up the money is the same woman that's going to have to be there with you with a broke ass baby daddy because he lost his career and now he's going to have to go find some other way to be able to pay these bills. Former Detroit linebacker or Detroit's cornerback Cameron Sutton turned himself into the police after the cops say that he was on the run from them for several weeks. They have been looking for him because a telephone call came in to the police on domestic violence. Now, the Hillsborough County Sheriff Office have been seeking to arrest the NFL player for most of last month after a woman claimed that he roughed her up on March 7th. According to the police, Sutton's attorney told the cops on March 25th that he intended to turn himself in and on Sunday at around 8.24 p.m., they said he did just that. Now, the call came in, and they have been looking for him since March 7th. His attorney made contact with the police on March 25th, 
and said he intended to turn himself in. And then he did just that. Video footage from the Orient Road Jail shows Sutton, who is 29 years old and looks way older than his age. I don't know if the baby mama and them damn kids is stressing the hell out of him or brother man is taking life too hard, but he looks way older than 29 years old. He was wearing a white t-shirt, mustard color shorts when he arrived at the police station. He later was seen wearing what appeared to be a orange jumpsuit because they booked him fully through the system, fingerprint, mug shots, all that. Would they do that for a misdemeanor? Well, his charges were actually supposed to be felony. Jail records shows, according to TMZ, that he was booked on charges of felony domestic battery charges by strangulation. And as of Monday morning, he had remained behind bars. But after a few weeks of evading law enforcement officials, he was finally made the right choice to turn himself in. So Chad Cronister, who is the sheriff, said, we've been wanting him and we've been looking for him. And after a few weeks on the run, he finally made the right choice and turned himself in. Domestic violence has no place in our community and no one is above the law here in Hillsborough County. My thoughts are with this woman as she continues to heal from this man's gruesome action. When the sheriff said that, I thought, God damn. Now see, Hillsborough County, they, the law goes like this. The domestic violence laws across the U.S. have changed. Back in the day, a spouse, a boyfriend, would be able to assault his girlfriend or his wife, punch her in the face, right, beat her up, however you do it. And then when the police come, the police will be like, God damn, she has a black eye, her lips busted, her mouth's bleeding. So they'll throw you on the ground, they'll handcuff you, and they'll take you to jail. Only for you to get that one phone call, and who do you call? You call her. And you would say something like this, Babe, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do it. Man, you always put me in this position, man. If you only did what I asked you to, I swear to God, listen, I didn't mean to. You just drove me to it. So if you understand the, the, the way that that conversation is going, it's usually an abusive, manipulative individual that was able to get into the head of the victim. And after they abuse the victim, they would usually have the same victim feel sorry for them. Sometimes that same victim would even blame themselves and say to themselves, yeah, well, I shouldn't have done so-and-so, and, -so, and I, else you wouldn't have done me like that. And what would happen later is that same victim would come to the police station and say, let my baby daddy go or let my husband go or let my boyfriend go. And they would say, but aren't you going to press charges? And she would say, no, I'm not pressing charges because he would convince her that, listen, just don't press charges. I come home. I'll make it up to you. I promise. And what the law found out was. A lot of these times, a lot of these relationships would end up where a few months would go by, things would go good, and then boom, repeat offend. She gets beaten again. A lot of the times it would be way worse than the first beating. A lot of the times it would even end in death. So they changed the laws and the laws now says if the police comes and decides that domestic abuse is evident they don't need her to press charges even if she is busted bleeding up and she goes nope i don't want to press any charges the state has the power to pick up those charges and press charges themselves i personally saw them arrest a man from a couple that was getting beating the man was beating the daylights out of his girl she was hispanic 
And behind the scenes, she kept telling the police, like, I'm not pressing charges because I'm scared for my life. And when 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 you guys leave, he's going to be back on me again. And he's going to be so upset. He might kill me. The police said to her, this time, I guarantee you, I can't tell you how long he'll be gone. But I'm telling you that he'll be gone for at least seven years. So... That will be seven years for you to either move to another state, get into a protection program, further your education, use some of these battered women's benefits, get your life back on track, do some healing and some counseling, get yourself together and get as far away from this guy as possible. You have at least seven years to do it. That woman broke down crying so hard and she kept asking the police, are you sure? Are you sure he's not going to be back out in a couple of days? The police was like, no, because the state is picking up the charges and we are going to prosecute him. So I'm telling you that to say this. In this case, where Sutton is concerned, he could have very well been charged by the state at a felony level. After weeks of evading the police, his lawyer says, he ends up with a misdemeanor. But to hear the sheriff say domestic violence has no place in our community and no one is above the law, implying that I don't give a damn if you're a professional athlete with millions of dollars, you're not above the law. And when we say come in, turn yourself in, or we're coming to get you, that's what it should be. He says, my thoughts are with the woman as she continues to heal from this man's gruesome action. That means they know what he did. I don't know how it ended up being a misdemeanor. This is how you fuck up the church's money right here, though. Sutton, who had just signed a three-year, $33 million contract in Detroit at the end of 2023, was cut loose by the Lions March 21st of 2024. One day after they were made aware of the allegations against him that he had strangled his baby mama and had gotten into some domestic violence situation, they cut him loose and took their $33 million for three years deal back. He had previously played for the Steelers for six seasons prior to this. So, six seasons, and this guy is only 29 years old. So that means he's been in the NFL since he was 21, 20, 21 years old, right? 22, 22, 22. Yep, 22, 23 years old. He made it pro. And he's been getting to the millions since. How many times or who, who do you know that's going to make $33 million guaranteed in three years? So you struggle, you hustle, you fight, you sacrifice, you train hard, you sleep, you eat right, you do everything you're supposed to do. Your friends are out partying, you can't go because your body got to get rest because you got football camp coming up. You got drills in the morning with coach, you got meetings with schools, this, that, and the other. And he did all that. All that. $33 million for three years. Just signed the contract. And lost the contract by getting into a domestic violence situation with the mother of his children. Damn it, man. You know what? I don't even know what to say. See, personally, if that was me, $33 million, I'm not arguing with nobody. And I'm not trying to frig up my $33 million. I'm not trying to mess that money up in any way. If she says I hit her or raise my voice to her, it's because she was telling lies. I'm a $33 million man. Guess what? Every time you mad, I'm out. I'll go get a hotel room somewhere and I'll stay there till you calm down. I'm not doing any of that. We going back and forth, overly emotional. Go take it out in the gym. If he was able to score $33 million for three years at 29 years old, he's probably in the prime of his career. He could probably repeat that or go for even more if 
his performance was up to par. Now imagine that. But imagine making it this far and then never being able to do it again. Because guess what? Nobody else is going to even look at him. Nobody else is going to want to touch him after this with a long pole. No matter how good he is. Because it involves strangulation or domestic violence physically harming a woman. And like I said in my other videos, no major entity wants to be associated with that. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. And I'll catch you on the next video. It's Hot Topics TV slash Brain Flow TV. You already know, if the topic is hot, we're on it. Stay focused. I'm out. Peace.